I insert escape colon is another command escape now your turn improvise a way to quit film take your time and on I go quit needs right right needs file name right give the name and I can quit now Capital F R, capital F N, shift F. Now F E F T, capital A appends. Escape. Percent percent. J J K K two K. K J. Your turn now. What does the D key do? And take your time. Now seriously you'll need to familiarize a little yourself both with the movements and try out different things that D can do. And let me go on. J dot bank. Have you seen Echo High? You must have seen it before. Have you seen LS? You must have seen it before. Come on. Have you seen said? You may have heard said or rock before. One well, substitute E with underscore globally. You can make your own program. And so long as you can use it in a shell, and therefore you can try it in a shell, you can also use it in Vim after that. So you may do one of these things where you write some odd symbols and print you HTML. I don't remember what that's called. But I'm sure you can do it. Mm, I almost forgot what I wanted. 5 J J capital A enter enter. Escape. I regret that. 4 K K K mm, J J D D K K K J J D D I J J D D escape escape sorry. Capital F J capital F J Double quote A. Name it A. D. 2FD. At A. Sorry. Double quote A. P. Double quote A. P. Double quote A. P. Double quote A. Shift P. J J D D Shift two A Shift two A Double quote W D D Shift two W K K double quote A D D double quote B D D double quote Q D D shift to W double quote A P double quote Q P at W at B at A at B at A at Q. Now go enter a community <laughs> because you're gonna need it. And if you start this way, I believe the logical conclusion. Thank God it was down here. Before, yeah, sometimes I have here like an X. It's annoying. I believe that the logical conclusion starting from here is you will keep on having this sort of fun and this sort of mindset all the way to the end. And the end looks, well, I have an alias. This is NeoVim. And I have everything as you would expect. I have Vim on my local machine. And sometimes, you know, you go on a server and you don't feel overwhelmed. Why are the J and K keys, ne keys next to each other? What's next to them? What's next to J and K? Why are they next to each other? Because F means find. 
J doesn't seem to mean anything, K doesn't seem to mean anything. Also, why capital A but lowercase i? Is there a more convenient way to move around than using F? How do you open the line above the current one? Right now, K capital A enter escape. That's a bit too much. Is there a better way? Yes, there's a better way to everything. Uh, to bring Vim to work is gonna take months, so you would want to familiarize yourself with it first. And you will not gain any of the benefits that he talk about. I mean, you'll find people who really claim Vim will make you fast, cool, and stuff like that. I don't believe it will. However, if this felt right, if this felt like this is how it's meant to be, you'll keep the same feeling to the end. Since most of my audience is probably Vim users already, I suppose this can be used as a way to give you ideas how to introduce someone else. I haven't introduced anybody to Vim, I think. So this is all theoretical. But I hope it's going to work. I'm sure it's going to work better than showing HJKL someone for the first time. By the way, if you're confused as to why there is HJKL, there was no control, alt, arrow keys, home, end, page up, page down back then in the VI era. So they had the escape, they had the escape key, and then your keyboard is a panel of switches. Suppose that's it for me. I don't know how long I've tracked on with this. Hope you missed out on anything. Yeah, there is a manual. What is that? You may want to find out. No, I actually showed everything.